Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Arch Enemy. And this is a new action sci-fi adventure thriller from Adam Egypt Mortimer and starring Joe Maganello. And this film starts off very stylistic. The score for this film is composed by Matt Hill and it's very synthy and otherworldly and the cinematography is really impressive done by Hel uh, Helena Hutchins and everything is set up in a way I'm like for a second I'm like is this a Panos Cosmatos film? I'm like I felt like I was watching Mandy. The film has these purples, this fog, this look to it, the score, everything and I'm just like oh crap, how did I sleep on this? And I looked at him like, oh, this isn't a, pa a Panos Cosmatos film, but it's an Adam Egypt Mortimer film. And it sets the stage so well at the beginning, creating this crazy world using animation and just lighting and colors to set up this crazy story of Max Fist, played by Joe Manganiello, who has like this deep, gritty just deep grittiness, voice, look, everything throughout the whole entire film. And it sets the stage for this epic thing, and then boom, you're in the real world. And the cinematography is still gritty and interesting looking, and it really sets the the stage for the kind of world that we're inhabiting in this film. But I'm like, okay, maybe we'll get more back to that. And throughout the film, Egypt Mortimer utilizes those visual points in small doses throughout the film and it gives it a distinct look to it. This definitely has a stamp of an artist on it and I appreciate that about the film. And in terms of the world building and the idea this is about this like superhero who comes to our world and loses all of his powers and he's a drunk and he just getting involved in stuff they probably shouldn't and he gets roped into a hamster and indigo who are siblings played by Skylin Brooks and Zoli Griggs and both of them do a fine job in this film but they're wrapped up in so like you have in indigo who's wa working for the manager who's this like crime kingpin guy played by Dennis from Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Glenn Howerton of all things, of all people. And the film spends so much time in that underbelly crime world kind of thing. And it doesn't do anything in particularly interesting with that, those aspects of the film that I kind of was disappointed because I'm like, I feel like there's so many cool, interesting things that you could be doing right now, but we're caught in the weeds of, like, you have the concept of the film and the plot of the film never reaches the level of intrigue or just artistic just out there-ness of the rest of the film and the bigger idea of the film and so whenever you're spending so much time in like dealing with druggies and stuff like that and the weird scene with Paul Shear and just stuff like that I just feel like I've lost so much interest in this film, and when it does kick into gear, the third act of it gets crazy and really starts pulling the concept together with the basic plot of the film. And I got a lot more interested, and it became more intriguing. Like, this is a smaller budget film, there isn't like big action set pieces, but it sets up a cool idea of things I would like to see in the future. I would watch sequels to this with these characters and what's going on here you have interesting reveals and does some cool things with the concept especially in the third act of the film in general I feel like this is a cool idea with a solid execution that could have been as great as the concept behind it but there's aspects of this film sequences of this film that I thought were out of this world really awesome and I look forward to seeing more of what Adam Egypt Mortimer does but as of right now I think Arch Enemy is a really solid action thriller and if you enjoy some action thrillers I think this is worth checking out if that's not really your thing and you're gonna get turned off by just 
weirdness, this has it. So this might not be for you. But overall, I think Arch Enemy is a pretty decent, worthwhile watch on virtual cinema right now. I got to watch it on Prime Video. But those are my thoughts on Arch Enemy. Let me know what you think. Let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.